Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited. It has been almost two years since I've been on a cruise and I am getting ready to go on a cruise right this very minute. I'm in Orlando and the way that I'm getting to Miami, yes, that's where the cruise is from, is on the Bright Line train. And I've never done that before and I'm very excited about sharing that with you guys as well. This is gonna be a major adventure because also, oh my God, I'm going on this trip solo. So we're gonna head inside because my train leaves in 30 minutes. And like I said, this is all completely new to me. So we are at the Terminal C train station. I said we, but it's just me. And I was also hoping they had a Starbucks here and I do see a Starbucks sign, but it's closed. <laughs> I know it's early. By the way, you guys, oh my gosh, it is 6.13 a.m. <sighs> my cruise boarding time is 11.30. Like I said, it is in Miami. This is the new, big, beautiful Terminal see it's like international flights and brightline um i don't know where to go to get to brightline so i am just gonna walk over and ask somebody it's weird because i don't see like brightline signs everywhere okay i'm so stressed out right now i got here with 30 40 minutes early they suggested 20 minutes early apparently and i put in the brightline drop off for my uber they dropped me off at the wrong terminal so i have to walk 15 minutes to a completely different building and now i'm really freaked out about the time i've been sent to down an escalator to walk down this long hallway and then take a left and then go up to level five. I think it's down that away. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, I know that I'm in a big hurry and I'm, sorry, I'm totally not stressing out here. Whew. There's the building that I was dropped at, off at and I did put in bright line drop off. Um, I walked across there. I came out here to the parking garage and I was told to go up to level five. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, this is adventure and we're in it together, you guys. I'm cruising solo, but you guys are with me, so it makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm not all alone. Okay, yep, right around the corner here, look. Level 5 train station. That wasn't bad. The first guy made it sound like it was very, very, very far away, and it really isn't. <sighs> Up to level 5, we're here at the train station terminals. All right, 624. That's how long it took. Oh my god, you guys. Here's the station. Look at it. This is so cool. I can't wait to talk to you guys when I get on the train about so many things. But it took me like 10 minutes to walk over here. Not bad. Wow. Are you guys ready? I'm so excited. There we go. Bright line. I just came in that door, went right on the corner. I did not go downstairs yet. Apparently you check in here. Like I said, this is all new to me. Completely new. We're gonna go through here to check in. All right, so I just asked them about my bag because online it said you were like to pay for a bag. Like it was add on extras, but I didn't add on extra because I figure you might be able to carry on. And this is a little carry on. Maybe it's 20 inches, 20. It's pretty small. Um, he said I'm good to go. I just go through the scan my ticket, which I have right here in my hand. All right, I scanned my ticket. I put my luggage up on the, the x-ray thing. I took my luggage down off the x-ray thing when it was done, and it was so easy. Now there's this little gift shop, and I just wanted some coffee. <laughs> I wish there was Starbucks, just saying. Um, there's a bar. There's mine. Depart 6.50 on time to Miami. Oh. Like everything is an adventure, okay? The train, when we get there, like any of the crews, everything. Oh my God, this is so fun. Espresso machine, yes. This is what I'm getting right there. Um, the writing's very small. I was hoping maybe you guys could see the menu, but actually they do have the menus online because I did look, even the menu for on the train. I'm so excited. I got a tall mocha. I got a mix between white mocha and regular mocha because she's like, which one do you want? And um, I made sure there's two shots in it. <laughs> the short had one shot, the tall had two shots. I'm very excited. Look, they have breakfast, like pastries here. Oh my goodness, this is very exciting. I cannot wait to get my coffee and get my seat on the train and relax. Ah. You guys, we are going to have the most amazing adventure the next five days. You don't even know. Okay, as soon as I got my coffee, they said that everybody could go down to the station. So like people got on the elevators. I took the escalator. Look how beautiful the sunrise is over there. And also you guys, there is the Brightline train. Look at it, it goes so fast. Um, I can't wait to go in there and see my seats and tell you guys like about the booking process and all that. But um, let's go get on this train. You guys, words cannot describe how excited I am. I'm heading down to coach three. I did not get premium. Oh, the stories I have for you guys. Here's my space, guys. 14D window. When I did go to book this online, I went to brightline.com. It just like gave me seats and it just went straight to check out. But I noticed it said like edit and then it lets you pick your own seats. Didn't change the prices I could have got here at a table, but I didn't want to get like across from other people personally. I also didn't want to be like in the very back by the door, but I did want to be in the back and I did want to be that window. So that's why I got that seat there. So this is the C car. It's 6.45. 
I'm on the right train. <laughs> it could be very nerve wracking, okay. Mm. Um, yeah, the right train. We're about to go to Miami. It's three and a half hours. It is 6.45. We should be there at 10.30 and my cruise board time is 11.30 to 12.30. I'm gonna have some of this coffee and enjoy it while it's still hot and then we'll talk a little more in a minute, but look. I'm just so excited. I've never done anything like this and I'm so excited. And while we're moving, <laughs> it's just exactly what I say in a cruise ship and the sun is out. I mean, it hasn't fully risen, but <gasps> we're moving. Oh, that is so exciting. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> I just really can't. <sighs> Bye Orlando, see you in five days. Well, technically kind of four days from now, but anyway, I'm so Welcome excited. Please take a moment to you guys are here okay. with me, okay? Thank Truly, thank you for choosing thank you guys for coming along with me. I love you guys, I miss you guys, and let's do this. Okay, here it is. This is at the airport, by the way. <laughs> if you just somehow happened to miss that in the beginning of my vlog. <laughs> oh my god, it's just a beautiful Florida day. We're gonna go so fast on this train. By the way, this was very delicious. It was, well, with the tip, it was seven something. It's seven o'clock, you guys. The train left like 10 minutes ago. Um, we left the airport area. We're going past some houses now. Like I said, we just left. We just picked up speed a little. I know this train does go up to like 125 miles an hour. That's very fast. It's so funny because when I told my roommates I was going on this train, they were like, the blood line. I was like, the blood line, why? Of course I looked it up. The train does uh, hit a lot of cars. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and head to the bathroom. I'm gonna take the camera with me because I know you guys wanna see what the bathrooms are like on this train, right? Because I know I would wanna see what the bathrooms are like on this train. So I'm gonna leave all my stuff here. And uh, my coffee should totally be fine here, right? Yeah. yeah. I brought a snack with me. I'm excited about it. I got it from Starbucks. It's the banana nut loaf. I asked for it to be kept in the bag so it's like fresher. I was looking forward to that. That's my treat this morning. I also got a bottle of juice from there and some matcha, which I'll show you guys later when I'm ready for my energy snack. I feel like I'm in the movies, okay? This is so cool. Oh my goodness. To the bathroom so we go. Do you know how long it's been since I've been on a real train? Look! So excited. It's been a long, long time. Oh wow, here we go. It's so bumpy. Okay, the door's shut. How do I lock it? I'm so stupid. How do I lock this? I really don't know. But here's the bathroom, guys. So spacious. Oh my God, look at it. Probably a changing table. Woo -hoo -hoo. <gasps> yeah, so here's the bathroom. Look how spacious it is. Seriously, nice. I gotta give you guys a couple of tips now, okay? To lock this, you just press the button. I'm gonna show you in a minute when I unlock it. Also, you flush the toilet by waving your hand over this little green dot. Okay, this is also trash. And now I'm going to wash, and it is so wobbly in here. It is so wobbly, but it's totally cool. Don't see any paper towels. Um, is this a hand dryer, maybe? I see there's like a... Oh! <laughs> Look! Okay, wow. That is awesome. <laughs> okay, here we go. See, to unlock it. To unlock it. And lock it. You do it again. Do you guys have an ACV or something? This is a very nice accessible space back here. Ooh, ooh, I need to hold on. <laughs> Look at my cozy little space waiting for me. Oh, so pretty, you guys. Look, Florida. Oh my God, look how gorgeous. Oh, wow. Beautiful. I'm so glad you guys are here to enjoy this with me. Look at all the fog. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I was totally prepared to take a flight, honestly. And you know that I, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm totally scared. I have anxiety. I just, um, I would have taken a flight. I was so determined today. Um, but I'm actually very glad for this train ride. Look how beautiful. I don't know if you guys can hear the train. Listen. You hear that? You can barely hear it through there when they pass over a crossing, but it's 7.35, so we haven't even gone a whole hour. And I was just really curious where we were. We're going so fast, so I put it in my maps. And look, we are already passing Melbourne, okay? How cool is that? We've been so far already. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. All right, so I wanna go ahead and plug in my phone. I know they have outlets here. Um, I did see this one down here. It's funny because I was wondering if I needed to bring my actual plug box. I don't know what it's called. Or just the USB, but there's the outlet. I don't see the USB chargers. What's this? Oh, it's 
little mini table. Ooh, nice, I'm gonna set that there while I get my charger for my phone. I'm glad I brought both pieces with me. Well, I mean, I brought both pieces with me anyway, but one I was gonna stick in my suitcase, a little box. I kind of thought that maybe you would just be able to plug this in. But yeah, I need this. Nice and easy. There's also internet, free Wi-Fi on here, you guys. Super easy to hook up to. I like these little miniature tables. I can use them both because <laughs> no one's sitting near me. You guys want to look at the menu. They do have food and drink. They've been by with a cart. You can see this online too. It's pricey. Yes, it is. I did see the sandwiches and stuff on the cart and they did look absolutely delicious. Just want to say that. I was very impressed actually. I was like, oh, okay. And they have drinks here. Um, spirits, $10. Wine, $10. Beer, and seltzer, $8. There's fruit, yogurt, sandwiches, salads, kids' snack boxes. Really neat. Oh, look at the sunshine combo. Morning sunshine combo, yogurt parfait, and a juice for $8. That's really neat. We have lights up here that we can use when it's dark. We're not gonna be riding in the train in the dark because even on the way back, obviously, it's gonna be in the morning early. Another thing that I noticed is they have this, you can pull it down. I don't know how you do it, but someone over there has their shade pulled down because it's very sunny. I'm not gonna pull my shade down, but it's also nice to know there's a shade. There's arm rests here that you can pull down if you want. The window is very big. We already found out about the big tables and the little tables. And look at this nice head space. So like if you're, I guess if you're sleeping. Wow, wow. We already know the bathrooms are very nice. The food choices and the drink choices are very nice. I like it. And I want to say that it's so cheap, but it's not. And even my Uber driver, he's like, oh, he, he actually just dropped somebody off at the airport to fly to Miami. And it's funny because flying to Fort Lauderdale was cheaper than buying this train ticket. But then I would have had to like take a train from Fort Lauderdale to Miami or an Uber, which would have made it cost more. But that being said, I know they advertise fares for like 30 something dollars, 40 dollars, but I booked this cruise 18 days out and I immediately was looking at the prices for, you know, my options and I decided to go to Brightline because it was the cheapest overall and it was not cheap. My total with, well, I'm not going to say with taxes and stuff because I just got my return trip was $170. That is not 30 something dollars a person. And that's for like a smart fare. Another thing extra, they have a premium fare where you maybe get like a food and a drink and an Uber up to a few miles around you when you arrive to your destination, which would have worked for the cruise, but that was like $100 more each way. So yeah, it was $170 a round trip. It's normally way cheaper. I know that the price, you know, maybe fluctuates by day, but I checked for many days and the price only went up. My ticket that I got for this ride here this morning was um, 6.50 to 10.30 was the, was the group time. And that was $70 and the return trip was 90. And it, that was the cheapest, it went up like a hundred and some dollars in one way. So I bought my ticket like oh nine nine days ago and they, yeah, not cheap. So it's not always gonna be cheap. Check your dates if you're concerned about that. But yeah, it was 170 bucks. Very nice though, very excited about it. I'm enjoying it a lot so far. So you guys, it's been almost an hour and I wanted to check my location. And so I was like, oh, I'll try it on my maps. And I did. And look, we're already down past Melbourne already. I just went to the back and just like walked around a bit to stretch my legs. And now I'm just watching one of my favorite shows, which is Below Deck. And I'm watching the Mediterranean one. I'm on the last season. I'm halfway through. I downloaded some for the trip. Have you guys watched it? If not, you should totally check it out. Oh my gosh. It's only been an hour and 20 minutes. So we're already past, like this is Fort Pierce. It's just amazing. It would have taken two hours to drive. It took an hour. That's just so awesome. And we're supposed to be in Miami at 10.30, and I think, well, they are making stops. I like Palm Beach and stuff. We're gonna see, obviously, how it goes, but um, I was thinking it would take three and a half hours to get there, but with all the stops and stuff, like, it's so much faster. Okay, guys, it's 8.38 up here. Orlando is where we've come from, and we're all the way down here uh, by Jupiter. See, we are so, so, Close. Look how far we've come. From there to there, and it's just 8 40 in the morning. The ride is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. And if you were able to get this ticket for like the 30 something, $40 price range, and a lot of people get it for, I guess, certain days of the week, not today, then wow. Wow. You get to Miami super fast. It's so nice. Wow. I'm loving it. Our next destination was Palm Beach. If you'd like to find out if you're belonging, this will be your correct time to do so. 
we're about to pull into the Palm Beach station. And it's a quick stop. Some people just take it here to Palm Beach. It took two hours, by the way. Two hours. Two hours to get all the way to West Palm Beach. It's nice. Here's the station. <laughs> it was a big stop. 8.55, I'm gonna tell you guys what time it is. Oh, look, there's people getting on. I hope nobody's gonna share my seat with me. There's plenty of open spaces. Anyway, I'll tell you guys what time we leave the station. Um, that'd be so handy and convenient if you lived here, just hop on this train to take it to Miami. Mm. Four minutes it was until we started moving. That was a super, super fast stop. It's 9.40 and we're pulling into Fort Lauderdale. Almost everybody got off. She said we'll be stopping here for two minutes, maybe three. Oh my gosh, I thought we were already in Fort Lauderdale, you guys. <laughs> the arrival time in Miami is 10.30, but it totally doesn't take that long. It's like a third stop, but they're super fast. It's so fast. It would take me five hours to drive here. So it's 10.10. Um, we've been in the Miami area, I mean, maybe even five, 10 minutes. Um, we're going really slow. They said it's because there's a speed restriction in the area, which makes sense because we're going downtown Miami. So the train station Orlando, obviously, because you know, you guys just saw this video, was at the Orlando airport, which is very convenient. I'm glad it's not. Look, it's the big bus. So many tourists on it. Um, I'm glad it's not here at the airport <laughs> in Miami. I'm glad it's next to the cruise port. And I imagine the reason we're going slow is because of all the, you know, city traffic like this right here. There's been a lot of accidents with cars and this trains. And I just want to say, you guys, never go on railroad tracks when the thing's down, okay, please? Because it's totally unsafe. But yeah, we're in Miami. Just a few moments away. I think we're docking. I mean, we're docking. I think we're... The... <laughs> I'm just thinking of docking. I just want to see the cruise ships. It's been two years. I think we're right next to the cruise pier, like downtown. The station. Inside. Since this is coming to an end, this train ride, I also want to say, like, not even just 10 out of 10, like, above that. I, there's not a single thing that wasn't cool or that just wasn't perfect. And I absolutely love it. And I just want to come back here more, especially if I get like a $30 or $40 fare, not like an $80 fare. Just hop on the train three hours later, boom, you're in Miami just for a day of fun. Look, you guys, it's Miami. Oh my goodness. We're in Miami. It's Wynwood Art District. I cannot wait to see the cruise ships, you guys. But you guys are here with me throughout the whole thing. So as I experience it, you'll experience it. Also, I have this Carabiner clip. <laughs> Not for climbing from um, AMC Walking Dead. It's really cool. I've had it forever. I decided to get it and bring it with me today because I want to hook these on my suitcase handle and see how that works so I have more hands free. But we'll see how it works here in a minute. Look, the Miami, downtown Miami, Bright Line Station. We're here, guys. We have made it to Miami. We are ready to get on the ship. Also, it's 10.15 when we got here. 10.15. Super fast. Also, I realize I better hurry <laughs> because you only have like three or four minutes at the stop, okay? Oh, here we go. Miami. Oh my god. <gasps> Miami. <sighs> oh my god. I'm so excited. We're in Miami. I don't even think I told you guys which ship I'm going on or anything. I am going on the MSC Magnifica here out of Miami. It is a five day, four night cruise. Today's Monday. I know that it's a Terminal C. So I'm gonna look for an Uber or a Lyft and I'm gonna put in terminal C of the cruise port and see how far away it is, all that good stuff. I don't see a C pop up on here. I saw a D, which I know was next to the C. <laughs> and the port is actually one mile, seven minutes. Look, we're right across the, across the street, uh, right across the bay from the port. So let's just head on in here, get out of the sun and get the Uber. Just a quick view. It is just really gorgeous. <gasps> That's a cruise ship. That's a cruise ship right there. That's the bridge and a cruise ship. Oh, oh my God, I can't believe I'm here. And I'm, I'm doing this solo cruise. It took me seven years, maybe eight years. It took me two years. I haven't even gone on a cruise in two years. I've been building up the courage and I just like, I had to do it. It's The call is too powerful. Alone, solo or not. Well, I'm not alone. I have you guys, but um, I'm super excited. This is gonna be the most amazing vacation ever. Once again, here's the train. Look at that. Ooh, elevators over there. Well, this doesn't really close all the way, but maybe it'll um, work for now to free up my hands. But that's my stuff because you know I want to take videos. I gotta have my hands for videos. This is such a big, tall escalator. Oh wow! Look at this down here. 
there's another cafe and bar area like there was in Orlando. It was very nice. Um, it says Miami. Let us see how to get out of here. Exit that away. Ugh, don't mind if I do. Oh my god, I love this. This was so fun. Look how beautiful. <gasps> the adventure is real. I just went down another escalator. I'm trying to find which way to get out. There's a couple of different choices, but I'm gonna go this way. I'm trying to read the signs because there's an exit to Northwest First Avenue, I think that it says, in case you guys are wondering what the address is. Look at that, Joe and the Juice. That looks very nice in there. Juice bar, mmm, belly. Well, how pleasant. Oh, oh my goodness, the easy, stress-free way to get to Miami. Boom, we're here wonderful all right so uber just didn't give me a choice to go to terminal c which is where i'm going for the cruise there's other terminals but lyft did uh, i'm gonna go with that also i just heard like a, a rooster it's like wait a minute i'm on the islands yet i don't know where it came from but it was just like it just crowed anyway i'm gonna get this uber here i just heard it again like we're in key west i guess there's roosters here in downtown miami i think they might live in the bushes <laughs> I did the wait and save. It was like $2 cheaper. Just because I'm in no hurry. My boarding time is um, 10.30 to 11.30. But like I said, I'm in no hurry. We'll see how long it takes. It's 10.27. 10.33, he's here. It took like not even five minutes just to get assigned a ride. And then it said he was one minute away. And then he said he was here. So he's here. I'm just going to go right over to him. Here at the pickup spot. That was such an easy wait. It's 10.44. I just got here. You guys, <laughs> look. It's the MSC Magnifica. It is my home for the next four nights, five days. I'm about to go in right over there. I will obviously see you guys in a minute when I get on board, but like I have turned off the camera to go through security. Just want to say a few things. This is my bag. I'm just going to carry it on. I have my computer in that bag. I have my backpack. Um, look at my Abby. I'm so excited. I can't hardly even talk. Um, I'm back to my happy place. I love cruising more than anything. I have so much to tell you guys. Everybody, like all my kids, everybody is super wonderful and perfect. They're all super busy working and they couldn't cruise with me. Um, Zarius was actually supposed to cruise with me, but there's a story to that. He, he couldn't make it. And so I'm alone and they in there think that it's me and him. Um, I didn't call or anything yet. Uh, <laughs> a solo cruise is forced upon me, but also I was totally ready to solo cruise. I said, hey, I wanna go to cruise, you wanna go? If not, I'm going by myself. He said, yeah, but it wasn't in the fates. So I'm here, about to go in the terminal. And once again, we can't record in the terminal. I know some people do, but you're not allowed to. I don't wanna get in trouble or break any rules or have my videos taken down. So I'm going to head into the terminal and I will see you guys when I get through the terminal for a timestamp and a check-in.